people of the internet, welcome back to my channel Latte Boba and in today's video I am going to be bringing out the paint, that's what you see over there, and I'm going to be painting some dynamite inspired artwork. I just loved dynamite so much that I knew I had to do some form of art to celebrate it. By the way, congrats ARMY, we beat our record, we set a new all time high record with 98 million views in the first 24 hours of Dynamite's release. Let's give ourselves a big round of applause because the boys deserved it and we worked hard and they worked hard. So I'm just so proud right now. Anyways, let's get on with the painting. So I have a thick piece of paper here. It's supposed to be watercolor paper, but that's obviously not what I'm going to be using. I'm gonna be using actual acrylic paint. Anyways, my basic idea is what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna draw the donut shop down here, paint the sky, and then up here I'm going to write dynamite in that font that they used. Obviously, before I start painting, I am going to sketch on my idea. So I'm going to time lapse that and speed that up really quickly. I'm actually not going to include um, the boys in this drawing because drawing people all together is going to take me about another week to do. So that's why I'm not including it. It's just way too time consuming. This is going to take a while to sketch. So let's go on to the time lapse. So this is a very rough sketch of how my drawing is going to look like. I really need to start touching it up and adding more detail now. So that's what I'm going to go do. The hardest part about this whole thing, I think, is going to be drawing whatever's inside the diner because this is all glass, so you can see through. But I'm not exactly sure how to draw whatever's in here without making it look like it's attached to the window. So this is definitely going to be a challenge, but for now I'm moving on to the donut. Here's where we're at so far with the drawing. I got the donut here. So I'm just going to wrap up the drawing and hopefully we'll get to the painting portion. Okay, so I'm going to attempt drawing a menu on the ball. We're gonna see how that goes. I'm honestly, I don't know how this is gonna go. All right, so I've drawn some of the things inside the shop. This over here is supposed to be a trash can. I'm hoping when I paint it, it looks kind of more, it looks better. That is supposed to be a donut rack. This back here, this little like rectangle covered by this menu is supposed to be the other window. And then this is supposed to be a fridge. I'm, I'll, I'll do better when I paint it. And then this is the ongoing menu, a menu, and then just signs in the front of the windows. So right now I think it looks pretty good. So it is getting kind of late. The lighting is coming to a point where it's just getting too dark to really do anything and the quality is going to become grainy and I just won't be able to see in general. So I think I'm going to revisit this tomorrow morning and get the painting started. Alrighty, hi everyone, I'm back. It is a little after lunchtime and I'm ready to paint. Got the drawing here 
And I have a palette over here, just a nice palette that my mom got for me for one of my birthdays. And then all my paint is over there. I don't know what I'm going to paint first. I think I'm probably going to paint the donut first. I don't know why, but I just want to paint that donut. So I'm going to get out my paints. I've got a two purples here. This is lavender and this one is neon purple. And so I'm going to try to mix these two. It's going to be more of a this color. So I'm going to mix that now. This is scraps piece, scrap, pe scrap pieces of paper. And I'm just going to put this under here just to protect my white desk area. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna mix. I might just go in with this instead. Let's try that out. Okay, now that I've got it down, I think it does need to be lighter. So I'm gonna try mixing it with a little white. Um, yeah, I think this will do. Alright, so the icing is finished, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make the actual donut color. For this, I have an ivory, but I am going to mix this with a few other colors just to make it darker. So, let's go do that. Alright, so I tested it out, and I think this is the color that I was looking for, so I'm just going to clean my toothpick off. And the reason why I use a toothpick is because I just don't like scooping out more paint than I need. And a toothpick you don't have to clean, you can just set it off to the side and then reuse it later. Only now do I realize that I should have erased the pencil mark before I did this. So... I shouldn't do it while the paint is still wet, so I guess I just have to wait for it to dry. Okay, so I don't, I tried erasing it, but I couldn't really erase it because I think I painted over it a little. So what I'm going to do to fix that is um, when I do the sky, I'm just going to paint over the pencil marks. So yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Okay, so next up, what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about doing the top of the shop. Got my yellow here, and we're going to begin painting this part. And I am this time going to go over, erase it a little. Alright, so next up, I think I might just go ahead and start painting the building, except for this bottom part. That's supposed to be the teal part. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so I painted this part of the shop in a kind of an off-white color. I'm going to make this teal part right here. So I'm going to mix that up right now. Alright, so I painted this, and now next up is the background color for um, the wall that the menus are hung up on. And that's more of an off-white color, but it has a little more yellowy tint to it, so I'm going to go mix that now. Alright, so the background is painted, and now I'm going to move on to the menu and then this little rack and then the fridge and then we'll see what happens after that i am gonna try a trick though to try and speed this up ready one two three whoa you yeah, finished doing the menu and the red frame so now we are going to move on to the rack and the fridge let's do that one more time. One, two, three. Whoa! Okay, so I've got everything painted here, but I am gonna pause here today. It is getting a little late, lighting's changing, so I will revisit this tomorrow. 
Alrighty, hello everyone. I'm here early today to finish up this painting. I'm honestly not sure how long it's taken me at this point. Probably over six hours, maybe five hours. But anyways, just to speed this up, we're gonna do the trick. Ready? Three, two, one. All right. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Okay, final one. One, two, three. All right, so everything is painted except for the sky and dynamite, and I am going to add clouds, but I'm going to time lapse those parts, so let's go on to the time lapse. Okay, so this is basically, the sky is basically done. I did mess up on the colors. I ran out of uh, my original sky blue color that I mixed and then I had to remix it and I ended up making a darker color. So then I had to remix another blue color to match the darker color. So um, my sky is a little darker than what I anticipated or was hoping for, but it's okay, it still looks pretty good. I'm gonna go let this dry because I can't exactly dot on the clouds or write dynamite yet until it's dry. So I'm gonna let it dry for about 30 minutes just to make sure that it's dry and then I'll revisit this and hopefully finish it up. All right, so everything is dry. I do realize that these are two different tones. They're two different colors, but I'm just gonna have to try and patch it up by dotting on the clouds later on. But for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write dynamite up here. I'll sketch it on and then I'll actually paint it. And that's gonna probably take a little bit. So let's start now. Alrighty, so I am done with the letters. This is how it looked. I mean, it's not too shabby because I did it with a toothpick. And if you're wondering why I did it with a toothpick, I don't have a smaller brush than this. Anyways, now we're going to move on to the final thing, which is dotting on the clouds. I'm just going to dip this into white paint and go boop, boop, boop just everywhere. So let's get on to that. Okay, so I organized and I cleaned up a little bit. And now for the reveal of my dynamite painting. Woo! Oh my gosh, I, I love it. I think, I just, I think it's pretty good. I never would have thought it would come out like, this but I am really proud of the results the the letters are pretty good 
for it have been done with the toothpick. I just think, I think it's really good. I really, I really, really love it. Alrighty, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I sure had a lot of fun time painting this, but my back didn't. And I love how it turned out. I'm gonna probably put this up on the room somewhere on the wall because I just love how it is. I might chop off some of this gray portion right here, but overall, I love how it turned out. And that is it for today's video. And make sure to stream Dynamite, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!